Hi there, I'm Angela. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. Today I'm very excited to share with you my plans for my very first capsule wardrobe. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. A couple of things before we jump right in. Uh, first, I am not a minimalist by any stretch, whether it's my decorating style or my wardrobe and clothing style. I just love the idea of planning and a capsule wardrobe. For me, half of the fun of this was just in the planning part of it. I'm such a planner. And I'm sure by now most of you guys are very familiar with the idea of a capsule wardrobe. But if not, I'm going to um, put in like a little blurb that I found on Wikipedia kind of describing what it is. I'm going to do that right now and then I'll be right back. And the second thing is I want to say a big thanks to Whitney of Tomcat Stitchery. I believe that she, like her videos were my first introduction to the idea of a capsule wardrobe. And I have so, so thoroughly enjoyed watching her put together her capsule wardrobes. I'll link her channel below. Although I'm guessing most or all of you are very familiar with her really exceptional channel. And third, there may be some rules about what's like strictly constitutes a capsule wardrobe. I kind of uh, just did it in a way that made sense for my lifestyle and my dressing style and um, my clothing sense. So I don't know if it strictly fits a definition of a capsule, but if it doesn't, I think it comes pretty close. So with that said, I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna first explain to you guys how I came up with these fabrics uh, what my plan was, like the thinking behind what my plan was. And then we'll get into the nitty gritty and I will show you guys the details of all the fabrics and the patterns that I chose. And it was so much fun planning this. I started off planning this thinking that it would be best to pick a print that has a lot of colors in it that are like my colors from my color palette. I'll pop a picture of that up here in case you guys um, haven't seen that before. I've showed it on the channel a couple of times. I had my colors done, I think it was about a year ago for Christmas of 2021. It was a gift from my husband. And I do try to use that as a guideline. So given that, I looked for a print in my own stash that had uh, some of those colors in it and also that just had a lot of colors in it from which I could springboard off with a bunch of solids. And I really didn't seem to have a print that uh, would be a good basis for a capsule wardrobe. Either the colors were, um, there weren't enough colors in the print or they were too, in some cases I had fabric prints that I, I love the colors, but they were so bright that it wouldn't for me and my coloring make sense to do a full capsule around all those bright colors. So I went in search of a fabric online and I found this one on Etsy and I fell really in love with it. And I know that not like all of these colors are in my palette, but I think that enough of them are that it'll work. It's a rayon chalet and it does have like a wide variety to pick from. Everything from um, a blue, like a smoky blue to a golden yellow, a brownish color, some mauve. Uh, yeah, so I thought that this would be a really good one, offer a lot of options. And I bought enough of this to make uh, two pieces. I'm going to make um, a long sleeveless vest and a skirt. So those will be like two like foundation pieces of my capsule wardrobe. So from there, I actually did use um, the Evernote app to kind of uh, plan and I could uh, change things around and pick out some tops and some pants. So I'm going to kind of insert um, a little screenshot of that and talk over it while I kind of explain to you my process and how this came to be. And yes, I'm going to put that in right now. I'm just doing a screen share with you guys. And I've got my main print here. And I pulled these little color samples right off of my uh, color analysis, the PDF that the analyst sent me after she did my colors and tried to pull out some of the colors from 
the prints and put them up here, which would help me decide on which solid fabrics to use. And so this um, steel blue, golden sand, tawny, and rosewood kind of were the, the overarching colors, like the most prominent ones. And then I also chose this sort of pine green and then a dark raisin, like a deep purple color, thinking maybe those would go too. I was kind of getting a little crazy, like I mentioned a couple of times. I love planning and I thought, well, maybe I love the way all these colors look together. Maybe I could incorporate them all. But then it started getting too big, like the whole project started getting really big. So then what I did, knowing that these four, I kind of kept it to these four and knowing those would be my colors for the solids, I looked at all the fabrics in my stash and many of those I've ordered online and even if I um, picked them up at Joann's I could still get a picture of them from Joann's website so I just popped in pictures of those fabrics here and so to kind of like give me an overview just to make sure everything looked pretty good together and I was really happy with all of these fabrics together and then it was figuring out which pieces could go with what pattern like for instance if I take this um, blue here I know that it's a rib knit and it's not going to make a pair of pants very nicely so that would have to be a top and I knew the quantity of that fabric that I had so I looked through all my patterns which I also keep my patterns logged here in Evernote so it was really easy to flip back and forth through uh, looking at my patterns to see which top pattern could go with this fabric so I kind of just did that with all of these fabrics and then I came up with a pretty good plan so I listed here pants and then the two pants that I'm going to make um, th this one here this burgundy color or the love notions duet and then there's a pair of Vogue pants and so forth and then I went into tops so I ended up with four tops, one of each of the colors pretty much, so that worked out nicely. And then skirts, I've got my two skirts here. And then I have two toppers, the sleeveless vest out of the main print fabric, and then um, the jacket that goes with the pants uh, out of this uh, chocolate brown, or it's called, on my color analysis, she calls this color tawny. It's kind of like a like a deep chocolate brown but I was very very happy when I came up with this kind of a, a scheme or a plan and all together I think I ended up with 10 things that I'm going to make and I started out kind of thinking maybe it would just be like six pieces on the capsule and I kind of called this my winter capsule because I think one evening I was just playing around in Evernote thinking wouldn't it be fun to put together a capsule wardrobe for each season kind of like Whitney does it over at Tomcat Stitchery and <clears throat> I thought well this one would be my winter capsule um, in, in reality truth be told I'm way too slow of a sew as to get this all done for winter it'll probably be summer before I get this done but that's okay I, I can wear these clothes these pieces for years to come so there's no rush you know it's supposed to be fun so, all right, back to the regular video now. I hope you found this little insert helpful. I love Evernote. And as I mentioned, I was trying to mostly pull from my own stash. It is one of my uh, hard and fast goals of 2023 to sew down half of my fabric stash before I buy new fabric. And I did actually end up buying a couple of solids that go with this print. Uh, before December 31st like I know that's like kind of breaking the spirit of the law but adhering to like the letter of the law but anyway I wanted to make sure I have enough choice uh, to go with my capsule wardrobe and I feel like I'll be sewing this capsule wardrobe at least through June because I don't sew very fast so this will give me plenty to work on this year and have no need to buy any new fabric so I'm going to go ahead and kind of go one by one and show you guys all of the fabrics and patterns that I have chosen to go with this print. And I think it kind of rounds out the capsule pretty nicely. And I know I showed you on Evernote how it broke down. So that's what all of this represents. I'm going to go show you guys these one by one. So let's do that now. 
So start with the print and I have a couple of patterns narrowed down for the vest, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with this old of 90s McCall's pattern and I'm going to do this view here. And I am also going to do, this is a Butterick pattern. It's not quite as old. It was, no, not old at all, 2020. So I'm probably going to do um, this skirt, but maybe a little bit shorter than that, somewhere in between these two lengths here. So those will be my like colorful prints that the tops uh, will go with, all of these top colors will go with the skirt and also go with the vest. So I can call in this print like my foundation piece. And then for pants, I'm going to jump into pants now because January for me is hashtag pantuary as I've called it for a couple of years now. And one of the pairs of pants that I'm making this month will go with this capsule. And I'm going to do the duet, uh, Love Notions duet trousers and use this burgundy fabric here. I'm, I'm really excited to do that. I feel like these pants are going to be a real staple for me in my wardrobe. And then moving on to the other skirt. So the one will be with the print. And then the other one, it's a very similar style. And the reason that I'm doing this is because it, uh, it suits this fabric best. So the other fabric is kind of this suede -y, like smoky blue, like a suede. It's a knit. It's not real heavy. It's not heavy like a suede fabric would be. It has some nice drape to it. But I only bought two yards of that. And I'm going to do probably this one here. So the skirt like styles will be pretty similar, uh, but they're skirts that I know suit me well and that I will be likely to wear. And also that I have enough fabric to make. I do like a maxi skirt, but I don't really have enough of these fabrics to, to make a skirt of that volume. So I'm going to just do something a little more tapered in and slim like that. And what is next? This is like a deep brown, like a chocolate brown Ponty that I've had. Oh, I got it earlier in 2022, I think. But at that time, I got enough to make this jacket and pair of pants from this. This is a Vogue pattern. And I have known all along that I wanted to make this with that fabric. And I feel like it's going to really work out with my capsule now. Uh, just because this brown goes very nicely with the other fabrics that I'm going to be making tops to wear underneath. And also, I feel like it goes well enough with my print that I could wear the vest with, like, the pants. It's kind of, it gets a little confusing when you think of all the pieces, but with the whole intention of them being, like, mix and match, that's kind of how I had to think in my mind. And that's one way that the Evernote app kind of really helped me like visualize it and how it's all going to come together. <clears throat> and I'm planning on actually four tops. Just kind of go down the line. This is a fabric I've had for a while. It's kind of a medium, sort of a smoky blue. It's a rib knit, and I'm going to just do like a long sleeve t-shirt style out of that. I have a few patterns that I have in mind to do that with, so I kind of just pulled out this new look pattern just to give you an idea of what I have in mind for this fabric. And I'm going to pull the print back out so you guys can see them together. So it's not like an exact match for this blue that's in the print, but I think it goes well and well enough. I'm not sure how it's coming across on the camera, but I think it um, I think it goes well enough to be a top that could be worn with this skirt or with the vest over the top of it. And the next top I'm going to make, this is also kind of a rib knit and a wine colored fabric. I have had this for a while too. So this is a, this was such a good chance for me to shop my stash and pull out fabrics that I kind of had in mind what I wanted to make with them, but there was no like compelling reason to get started on it. 
But now being part of this whole capsule, I'm really excited to do these finally. And my plan is to do this McCall's pattern. And I'm going to do this, I guess that's kind of like a mock turtleneck. I, I have to double check my yardages and make sure that I have enough to match all these ones I'm showing you to match fabric to pattern with. Uh, and if for some reason I didn't pay enough attention to that, I might have to shift my plans just slightly, but either way, this will always uh, be a top. Even if I don't have enough to do this top, I'll find another pattern that I have enough of to do a top with that. And so kind of once again, there's not this exact color in here, but there are some close enough, like there's some little pops of a similar color. I think, I think it'll go together well enough that it's not going to, you know, stick out like a sore thumb that they don't coordinate very closely. And because I am trying to sew my stash, I had to like allow myself the flexibility in my mind to think it's fine if it doesn't like coordinate perfectly, as long as it looks a little bit coherent and they're not clashing. Uh, I'm not going to, like, I wasn't about to go out and buy new solids to match every color in this. I'm going to make do with what I have, and I think it'll still come together pretty nicely. And the next top that I'm going to do is this Butterick. I'm going to do that one. And this is one that I actually bought for this capsule. Show you this is sort of it's like a crinkle. Sorry, I don't have better details on these fabrics. I think it's sort of uh, just a crinkle gauzy type fabric, lightweight. And I thought this goes together so perfectly. I got this one on Etsy too, a different seller. But while I was getting this one, I thought, well, I could pick out at least one solid specifically meant for this. I don't have to you know, buy all new style. I'm going to use what I have already had. And then I thought I would just pick out one that kind of went with this one perfectly. And I thought that this just goes so well. There's this gold color like running, running throughout. So I thought that just looks so good together and like wearing the vest over top of this top. And then with, um, you know, with any of the pants, like, I'm not sure if I'll wear the vest and this, the vest and the skirt out of this together. It might be a little too matchy matchy. Um, but like, I can picture this top with this vest over it and then like the brown pants or something like that. I think that would look really good. And then the last top is I'm using a simplicity pattern. This is kind of an older pattern too, is this one here. And I'm using, this is a modal shirting. It doesn't have any stretch to it. Um, this pattern's pretty flexible as far as you can use a stretch woven or a non-stretch fabric like gingham, laundered silk, uh, lightweight denim, chambray. So this modal uh, shirting should work out really well with that. And kind of like with, I didn't want to buy a bunch of new fabrics for this capsule. I also didn't want to buy a bunch of new patterns. So I'm just sticking with patterns that I already had in my stash. And I did look through some of my indie patterns that I already have, like the PDF ones. And I didn't find anything. I, I only have a very few of those because I'm just starting to get my feet wet in PDF patterns. And I didn't really find anything that kind of was suitable for my plans for this capsule. So for now, that Love Notions Duet Trousers is my only indie pattern that I'm using for this capsule. But um, I'm going to be sewing throughout the year things other than this capsule, for which I will definitely uh, do some PDF patterns, because that's another one of my sewing goals this year is to uh, sew with more PDF patterns. It's a whole new world out there for me. Um, that's it. And I kind of lost track of like, 
exactly how many tops, how many of this. But what I think I'll do is put like a little picture on the screen that kind of lays everything out in little blocks so that you and I get a better sense of how it all kind of works out together nicely. I've popped up here on the ladder to get a good overhead view of all the fabrics and the patterns for you guys. And I thought while I'm up here, it might be a good chance to explain one reason I'm having so much trouble keeping up with all the pieces is that it, it kept expanding. Like I told you, I, I really love planning and that's like half of the fun for something like this for me is planning. And I think I started out with like six pieces and so now it's grown to what, four tops, two skirts, two pants, a jacket, and a vest. So what do you guys think? Have you done a capsule wardrobe before? Let me know in the comments how it went, if it's something that you're thinking of doing. I have a feeling with all the pieces in this and my, uh, my uh, non-fast, I'm not a speedy sewist at all, this is probably going to take me, it might be something that I'm working on through most of the year, or at least until midsummer. I'm going to try to use my excitement for this to kind of spur me on and move at a little faster rate. Maybe not watch so much YouTube and do more sewing or have like the TV or YouTube playing in the background while I'm also sewing, just so I'm not, uh, you know, getting too behind. I'm really excited about this. And that is about it. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you have any suggestions or other ideas. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.